This episode is a meditative exploration. It goes super slow. I take my time and there's lots of pauses. And so the invitation for this is to commit to hanging out with me, to being present. And it's not necessarily more content to distract yourself with. If you're into that right now, if you want to just hang out with me in presence, then I think this might open your heart and allow you to see a little bit more of what's true so that you can return to a more grounded, loving, and playful version of yourself. Let's go. We have an opportunity here. And that opportunity is to really be here. Because if you're anything like me, you've probably noticed how easy it is to be distracted. Even with stuff like this, just another thing to do to take up mental space. And for me, I'd like to use this time with you as an opportunity to relax into presence and be totally okay with stillness. I don't know what I'm going to talk about today. But I am relatively excited, more honored to just be here with you and to honor these things, to honor the permission that we give ourselves to just be. So maybe this entire session will be much more meditative than it is talkative. Maybe. I don't really know. But I like having the option. I like acknowledging the space that says, it's okay if you don't have much to say. You can just be here. And in that space, I can let this be a true spiritual practice rather than just something else that I'm supposed to be doing. And so maybe as we're just here, we can acknowledge whatever it is that we bring into this space whether you're happy or sad or something in between, whether you're mad or irritated. Let's just acknowledge that whatever it is, it's okay and it can be held in this moment. There's nothing that we need to run away from. There's nowhere that we need to get to. We can truly just take a moment and be here. Let's allow ourselves to just breathe. Let yourself breathe. And with each breath is just a simple invitation 
to release anything that is not here right now. I guess it's definitely possible that in your human experience, you might be on a wild ride right now, or maybe it's calm and peaceful. But can we just acknowledge that in this moment right now, everything's okay? Can we see that anything the mind tries to say about your life, about what should or shouldn't be, it's not pertaining to right now? Can we acknowledge the profound difference between the life we think is happening and the life that is here in this moment? Isn't it so interesting how the mind wants to try to entice you into the world it imagines? into the self that it imagines. And yet the realness of life, the realness of what you are, simply present right now. I do find it quite wild how, even in looking at my experience, as we are living life, it's so easy to get caught up in the mind's noise. And so easy to find a distraction. And as we're running and running and running, It's almost like there's this assumption that we can't just be. We can't just be as we are. We're hiding from something. And my invitation, which I also feel is spirituality's invitation, is to come back to reality, this moment, and see that you don't have to run. You don't have to hide. You can meet yourself as you are. And you can see that everything the mind says about you, says about life. It's not really true. And in that invitation is another invitation 
to draw nearer and nearer to that which is true. You see, my friends, and even as I begin to speak about it, these silly words, so quickly they can just take us back in the mind, giving us something to think about. And my intention is to point to something that's beyond words, that's beyond thinking. This is why so often, as I begin to talk about these things, I just, I don't want to say anything. I just want to look at you and smile. and hope that you see it. Hope that you see what's actually here or the immensity of what's not here. And then in your own way, you find yourself melting into that which is sacred. To that which is beyond description. For myself, I would call this relaxing into the heart of God. to laugh at all of my silly trying, my efforts to control, my worries that maybe life or God doesn't know what it's doing. to surrender those imaginary parts of myself that thinks the future has what I'm missing. And just come home. Come home to where I really belong. Come home to what's real and true. And just release this energy of Pretending or hiding or running or fear and open the eyes of my heart and realize, oh, whew, I'm okay. And you see, to whatever degree you might feel into it right now, the peace and the presence, it's always here. It 
It's always here. Isn't that amazing? Right? Because as we go about our lives and we can get so busy, so many things to do, and we think that peace is somewhere in the future, but actually it's right here. This is like saying the truth is the truth always and forever. Not just on the weekends. And you see, this is the real truth. And I find great comedy in this. For us as human beings, thinking the truth is made up of thought. That we can use our imagination and think about what's real. That we can spend time in the unreal, hoping to find the real. This truth, my goodness. You see, there really isn't anything you can say about it, which is why it has me smiling. This is the sacred truth, that this right here, this peace, this freedom, this that is well, this presence, it's your real home. And you're never not here. You just don't see it. You're always here. You're always held by this. And the great adventures that we go on are simply adventures in thought, in story, in a dream. But this, that is real, is always real. And spirituality is like a gentle knock on your heart that says, hey, can I come in? be together for a little bit? Can I show you that all is well? Can I show you that you're loved? Can I show you that all of those monsters aren't real? Can I walk you home? And of course, the mind, adorably so, says, but what about, but what about, but what about? Yada, 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 yada. Yes, even in all of those things, let's just be here. Because you see, 
if we are going to, let's say, address the practicality of our humanness, wouldn't we like to do so from a place that's grounded, loving, and maybe a bit more playful? so that we might see these things with some more clarity. With gratitude in our hearts. This is the value for me in spirituality and living this human life. It's not so much that spirituality removes the difficulty or the struggle, but it certainly does help me approach it with a lot more love. And I realized that, oh, maybe this isn't as big of a deal as my mind is making it out to be. Breathe. Dear one, let go of the world. Let go of everyone else. Let go of yourself. And just rest in this for a little bit. And as we breathe into this space, can we acknowledge something? And I share this with you because I find it so helpful. And so because maybe I find it helpful, you might also, but that's not required. And that is when I'm having a difficult time in my humanness. It helps a lot if I can just get really honest about the deeper issue. And that deeper issue is that I'm just scared. And then I can create some distance between what I think are the thousand things I have to do and what's going on in my heart. And to see that what's going on in my heart doesn't have anything to do with what's going on out there.
And that might be something that you have to communicate for yourself. But in some way, I imagine it's like this fear that you're not home. That you've been left behind somehow. That you're not enough. Or you're this separate creature and you have to struggle to survive. As if you are not intimately connected to all that is. And what I also see as I get more and more honest with myself is that I'm just fighting for the survival of my ego. And I'm perfectly allowed to fight for that. It's just one of those battles that goes nowhere. Because in a simple and direct way, in a manner of speaking, the ego is simply trying to be God rather than letting God be God. And I have that moment of realization that says, oh, this isn't about me. This whole life thing. This isn't about me being right. This isn't about me being better than someone else. This isn't about me and what I think I have and what I think I don't have. This is about the miracle of life. And we could also say it's about the immensity of love. that's here right now, holding an equal space for everyone. And I see very clearly that that love invites me in so that that love might move through me. which as far as I'm concerned is a great gift. A gift for my own enjoyment and most importantly for my own sanity. It's very difficult to love genuinely when we are lost in the mind's chaos, especially when there is an imaginary self in there that is afraid that it's not enough. That little one becomes pretty defensive pretty quick. And in the truth of things, I see, for me, there's nothing to defend here. I hear that whisper where the only thing left to be said is, 
I love you. And I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. The inevitable misunderstanding. And this is something that I point to a lot. That if there's ever emotional disturbance, if there's ever conflict, if there's ever suffering, there's a very innocent misunderstanding. We are not seeing ourselves, others, or life clearly. And so that disturbance invites us to be still and see what's really true. So simple. And what comes next? Well, let's find out.